Hey guys, this is Orchie Lolita Terry coming up in out of Austin, Texas with the prophetic word for somebody. Um, the prophetic word is make a decision which route you are going to take. The Lord is asking you to make a decision which route you are going to take. The Father gives us choices. Father God, we come into prayer right now, Lord God, just thanking you, Father, because of who you are, Father. Lord, we thank you, El Shaddai. We thank you, God Almighty. Oh, Lord, we just thank you, Father, for touching us with your finger of love and waking us up this morning, Lord. And Lord, we just bless your holy name because you're worthy of all the praises, Father. Lord God, I pray, Father, that this word will reach whom it need to reach in the mighty name of Jesus, oh God. And I pray, God, that it be not my voice that's heard, but the Holy Spirit. Lord, I pray that you will speak. And I command his old flesh to stand down. And I ask the Holy Spirit to stand up and have your way, Lord God, right now in the mighty name of Jesus. And Lord God, I ask, Father, Lord, if there's any covenants, Father, that I have made with the enemy, knowingly or unknowingly, I break that covenant, Lord God, because my covenant is with you, Father. And Lord God, I, I bind and I rebuke any demonic spirit that may try to come up against his word. And I cast it back into the pits of hell right now in the mighty name of Jesus, with the blood of Jesus. I pray. Amen. 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 I want to mention to you guys briefly, I wasn't going to share this. Um, I haven't been feeling too well Thursday. Um, I wind up at the hospital. I, like I said, I wasn't going to share this, but I'm not going to go into details. Just a little week. So I'm asking for all the prayer warriors to just pray for me. Um, doing this ministry, it's just, it's just been a lot. And even the enemy was fighting me with bringing this message on today. Okay, family members, you know, I got family members in the hospital now, you know, that's, that's going through right now. And I just pray that you will lift us up in prayer. I done been through, you know, with this ministry, with family members passing. I didn't mention, you know, I still come on here with a smile. But sometimes you just get tired. Sometimes you just get tired and God knows because he said in my weakness, his spirit will be made strong. Thank you, Father. But I'm just asking for prayer. But I want to share this message um, with you guys that God gave me in my spirit. He took me back with making a decision which route you are going to take. Proverbs 3, chapter 3, verses 5 through 6. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart. And lean not unto thy own understanding. And in all thy ways acknowledge him. And he shall direct thy path. The fathers get ready to, to speak to somebody. Okay? He gives us choices which route we want to take. Okay? He don't force anything on us. And a lot of times he have showed us. But sometimes because it's not what we want to see, we ignore what the Father have showed us. He showed us all the red flags. You know, he, he just showed us. And I'm going to share with you guys what he took me back to. You know, a prophetic dream and something that happened to me. And in this prophetic dream, the Father was asking me to make a decision. And I seen two highways, okay? He said, which decision are you, which route are you going to take? Which route are you going to take? Which route? And I was confused. I, I, I stopped. And I, I made a stop. And the stop I made, okay, it was um, these, they, they looked like men. They looked like men that I knew from my past, but these was really demonic. These was really demons, okay, that I was interacting with with this. And I got up out of that house. I got up out of that house. And I had a baby in the backseat of the car, okay? So I woke up. I made a decision which, which route I was going to take. And I hit the highway and I woke up. Okay. And the, the sun was just shining so bright. But I had a, a baby in the back scene. That baby, the Holy Spirit showed me, represented my gift. Okay. The, somebody, you got a gift. Okay. You got a gift. And this decision that you make, if you don't make the right decision, is going to affect your gift. I want you to hear me, okay? It's going to be life-changing. 
I want to share something with you guys. When I had left my job, um, this guy I had um, met at my job, and we got we started to get kind of close. I would never give like my information. You know, we would just have lunch together. I would never give him my phone number. But this guy um, asked me to marry him. Okay, he asked me to marry him. This guy <laughs> that I would see all the time. He, you know, asked to start talking about marriage and, you know, and told me he was saved. He was in the church. But can I tell you, everybody that holler, God, God, and Lord, Lord is not of him. And even if they are saved, you got to go to the father and ask the father, is this the one that you have for me and my purpose? The Lord is speaking to somebody. Father, give me strength to bring this message to Lord God like you intended, Father. I can't do this without you. Is this the one that you have intended for me, God? Okay. And I remember when I was getting ready to leave the job, he offered me this trip. And on this trip, I could either ride with him or drive my own car. I think it was like a few hours from here. Okay, I could drive my own car, but my hotel, I had my own hotel room was going to be paid for. Spending money for me to spend. Okay, and it sounded good to somebody, you know, like me that's, you know, by myself. And I'm real particular about the company I keep. I'm very particular about my company. Okay, so I remember going to God and pray about it. And it's like I kept hearing no in my spirit, but I wanted to go anyway. Okay, can I just be transparent with you guys? I wanted to go, you know, because nobody want to be alone. He was good company. He was funny, had a sense of humor. And I love a man with a sense of humor because I like to laugh. Okay, but I also know when to get serious and when to get down to my father's business. Okay, but the father kept showing me that this wasn't a man that he had for me. I mean, he had everything together. He, I mean, he was going to church. He was going to church, but it's a difference between going to church and having a relationship with the father. And I have a relationship with my heavenly father, but I started noticing things. God began to like, um, just bring highlighted to me. You know, when I would talk about the ministry, it's like he was kept trying to pull me away from that. Okay. And I could have choose to go on this trip that he was asking me to go on. I mean, I thought long and hard on it. Oh, my God, I thought on it. I thought on it. Okay. When I left my job the last day, I was getting ready to even break my word with God, with not even starting a ministry on that day that I said I wouldn't start. And the Holy Spirit spoke to me loud and clear in audio voice. And I remember I had all my flowers and stuff he had gave me. and all my gift cards and I was going to screenshot it and send it to my daughter, you know, and show, show, you know, show off my little stuff and all our pictures and stuff. And the Holy Spirit came to me. He said, you won't do nothing until you make that first video. Let me tell you, I got home at six. It took me to around 3 a.m. to make that first video. I did not want to make that first video. The enemy, it's like my flesh was fighting with the spirit. But thank God that the spirit won. That's why I'm sitting here today. OK, because the spirit won. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. And even with that, it was a battle. You know, I would think back at him. I mean, this man was well established. OK, I mean, I'm not going to even get into all that. OK, well known here in the city of Austin. OK, and he was just so much fun. Like I, it was just if the chemistry was there. OK, and we got along good. But can I tell you, because the chemistry is there and you get along with somebody, it doesn't mean that that's the person that God intend for you to be with. That's why it's so important that we have a relationship with our heavenly father to be able to know. Because the more the father be able to, was, was highlighting to me that this man was not the right one. I mean, he would do things like, you know, just try to pull me away. You know, I have plans to do my videos and he want, and it's nothing wrong with having balance. Now, don't, don't misunderstand me. It's nothing wrong with doing things and having a good time. But you will know this person, if they're trying to pull you away or interrupting what God is calling you into, okay? They're not there to help you build, but they're there to pull you away, okay? The enemy has a, a agenda. I want you here. I want you to hear me. This, this is going to speak to somebody's spirit. The enemy is on a mission, and he has an agenda, okay, to, to, to kill, steal, and destroy. And this, this, this purpose that we have, I want you to hear me, is far more bigger than us. 
This is for the kingdom of God. We are winning souls to the kingdom of God. And if the enemy could get us off track, then he he have accomplished his mission. Because all those souls we need to win. Okay, all that has been set back. I want you to hear me. Everything is off course now. Just based on that one wrong decision that we made that's not of God. That's why it's important to pay attention to the Holy Spirit and not make decisions based on our flesh. And I chose God. I got rid of all his information. And then it wasn't easy because I kept going to the location where he was. I'm going to just be transparent. I mean, this spirit was just like really pulling me in that direction. Okay, I kept going where he was and I heard the Holy Spirit. I remember the last time I went, I was tying my shoes up. I'm putting on my tennis, I'm tying my shoes up. And the Holy Spirit say, do not go. Don't go back. Do not go. And I say, I'm going to just go one more time. But can I tell you, <laughs> the only thing I'm going to say, the father made sure that that was my last time. He interrupted everything. I want y'all to hear me. But I thank God for his interruption. Because the Bible say many of the plans in a man's heart, but it is the Lord's plans that will prevail. His plans will stand over ours. Lord, I thank you, Father, that your plans stood over mine. I thank you, Father, for ordering my footsteps and directing my path. Because the Bible says the footsteps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. And I chose God. I made this decision. Can I tell you, this is the best decision. You cannot go wrong with choosing God. Because see, God come and he interrupt things and he block things because he see what's ahead. See, we can't see what's ahead. The only thing we see is what God show us and what's right in front of us, okay? So that's why we got to be sure to stay covered in the blood of Jesus and to stay connected with the Father. And if you stay connected, somebody going to catch this in the spirit. You will not go wrong. Stay connected with the Heavenly Father. Let the trust that God is leading you and pay attention. Because sometimes what we have prayed for and asked God to show us is already in front of us. He's revealing to you already. The answer is there. Because let me tell you, the Father always answer our prayer. Praise God. I pray that this message reach whom it need to reach. And I believe it's going to reach. I believe it. And I'm praying and I'm interceding for you guys. And, and just know that I love you, but God love you more. Mm -hmm. God bless. Until next time. Bye.